One time for your mind, two time for your soul. It's your man Shizzle. And it's a lot of y'all motherfuckers out. Well, not a lot of y'all, but a few of y'all. Yo, Shan, you ain't said nothing about biz. Well, let me tell you something. I've already had come to terms about biz a long time before you motherfuckers even knew that anything. I came to terms with the shit. Okay? I was privy to certain information that y'all wasn't, but it wasn't my business to talk about. But I can tell you this, as much as people were saying, oh, Biz is doing better, Biz is in rehab, he's talking, he's doing this. Since the day Biz went in the hospital, I haven't seen a thumbs up or eye blink from Biz, so I can't fucking actually get here and tell you anything and say, oh, Biz is doing okay. Because I've never actually saw that since he was in the hospital. But also know things that I've, you know, oh, he's in rehab, but I've never seen Biz since he was in the hospital. And like I say, I come to grips with his situation because my son was in the same type of situation. Where the doctors asked me, if his heart stops, do you want to resuscitate him? Now you got to come to the question, am I going to resuscitate my son and be stingy for myself because I want him here, but his quality of life is not going to be a quality of life that he would enjoy. So I made the decision to tell the doctor if my son's heart stopped, don't, nah, don't bring him back. All right. So now with the biz situation, knowing what the fuck I've known for so long, Am I crying for me? Or am I crying for biz? I say that I'm be crying for me. I would be happy that biz is no longer in pain. And people wouldn't have liked the things that I would have said to biz if I could have got to his ear. Because if I could have got to his ear, I say, biz, if it's too much for you, go ahead. Don't worry about us. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. I just don't want to see you in no more pain. We love you. And I know you want to hold on for us. And we want to hold on for you. But if it's too much, we'll see you on the other side. People wouldn't have liked to hear me sit there and talk to my friend like that. Because I'd be stingy to want my partner to be here in the quality of life that he was living in. For him to still be on the planet Earth and you it's not the biz that I know and it's not the you know just to see him nodding his head and blinking his eyes and, and, and that's not a quality of life. So who am I crying for? Me or am I crying for biz? Or am I rejoicing the fact that he's no longer in pain? Not in a rejoice that I'm happy he's no longer here, but I'm happy he's no longer in pain. Period. So don't ask me about Shan, you haven't said nothing Because this is what I was saying I've had to make that decision Where my decision was To have somebody live And have their quality of life Be fucked up And me be stingy Just to have them here To hold and kiss and love But they can't fucking do nothing So I've come to the fucking conclusion A long time ago And became comfortable with the fact of what's going on. My son went in the hospital, died, came back out the hospital. Biz was in the hospital nine months before that. So the outlook on Biz with his situation and the way it was going, my son just died. So I was already comfortable with the situation of this may happen. I've had to make these decisions. So don't ask me about, Shan, you ain't said nothing about Biz. I love Biz. Biz my motherfucking partner. And like I said, I would rather him be happy and have his fucking wings right now for me to be stingy and selfish to have him still alive living a quality of life that I know Biz would not motherfucking want. So if anybody wants to get on me for that, that's all cool. But if I ever get in that kind of situation, I don't want that quality of life. Tell these motherfuckers to pull the plug on me. Because if I get a chance to pull the motherfucker, I'm going to get the fuck up and pull it my goddamn self. 
Alright? Cause I don't want that quality of life And I don't want it for any of my loved ones Just to have them here But If the universe has said Biz was still supposed to be here And whatever we had to accept with that That's another A whole nother scenario Because he was meant to be here But other than that Things are the way they are None of us can change it Biz, I'ma see you Like I said, I'ma try and sneak a whistle in More than likely, I'm going to another place than you are You know what I'm saying? So, but regardless, they might try and give me a pass and shit But I'ma try and sneak a whistle in <laughs> And we gonna talk about old times like a motherfucker, alright? So I'ma see you soon, Biz Share your blood, and I know y'all motherfuckers are making a harmonic symphony up there You, Biggie, Tupac, Humpty Doom, y'all just y'all got y'all got it rocking right now, cause they don't need turntables up there, cause Biz then came. Boom 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 boom. My name is Abyss Marky. Love you, Biz. <laughs>